Marion men's hockey team advances to the Harris Cup semifinals with a couple of wins today, knocking off College of St. Scholastica 4-1 in game two, and then in the mini game, overtime, 2-1, knocking off the Saints to move on. Lawson McDonald, the game winner in the overtime of the mini game, just to talk about how that thing unfolded. Uh, you know what, I, I don't fully remember, I think I blocked out a bit, um, but uh, no, I think we had a good forecheck, and then we worked it up to the point, and Ring, Troy Ring made an amazing pass back door, and I uh, just, you know, buried it. <laughs> what a Bible. Hey, what's the mindset? You're into the mini game, but then you go into the overtime where it's sudden death. Uh, Davis, just what, what, what's the feeling as you take the ice, knowing you know one thing that goes your way is going to end it, one thing maybe a mistake, uh, and it goes the other way, and you go home. Yeah, for sure, nerves get high. Uh, absolutely, you know, like you said, it was a long game, it was like four hours or something. But um, you just got to grind it out. You know, we, you know, great goal by Lawson. Uh, Brett, just talk about uh, you know coming back, getting a scoreless uh, first two periods of game number one, I guess, that we played today, and then you exploded for four goals in the third period. Just what was the difference right there? Yeah, obviously we had our backs against the wall on the loss last night. We came in, outshot them, like we were doubling them in shots. We just couldn't find one, but as soon as we got one pass, so they just uh, kind of seemed to flow in there. So. Yeah, proud of everybody. Uh, Nolan, you face a hot goalie like Zane Steves. You just have to keep uh, peppering him because, I mean, he was making some unbelievable saves. Just what's your mindset there? You're trying to find the back of the net. Yeah, he was, uh, you got to give credit to him. He played uh, amazing. And, uh, yeah, we just peppered him with the shots, and uh, we just found a way to get to the back of the net. What was the mindset coming into today after dropping last night's uh, match, knowing that you had to win to force the, the mini game? I think uh, just stick, sticking with it. We, uh, you know what, we played well yesterday and we outshot them like 50 to 20. Just, uh, you know, we knew we'd get some opportunities and we need to bury it. I think we did. Uh, Davis, Nolan, Brett, you guys all played for St. Scholastica. We talked about it during the regular season, but how, 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 just what's your feelings about knocking off your former team here to stay alive in the postseason? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of good buddies on that team, but we always find ourselves, you know, falling out of the playoffs. So this is definitely a feeling that I'll never forget, you know, getting now, moving on. It's awesome. Can you, can you talk about being home next week as well for for uh, the, the basically the North Division Championship? What's it like knowing you're gonna have home ice here at the Blue Line Family Ice Center? Yeah, it's huge. Um, I think we're nine and three at home. We're gonna make it ten and three, so uh, it's huge. You know, we got the big ice. We like to possess pucks here, so it's gonna be huge. What's the confidence level like for this team right now, knowing that you know you fell behind yesterday, you came back today, scoreless game, you're able to get it going in the third period. Just what's the confidence level of this team right now? It's high. I mean. Uh, it was a grind this weekend, but uh, we have this word we use it's called resilience, and I think we did that really well here this weekend. Lawson, you scored the goal. Uh, how many could you breathe underneath that pile? Because it seemed like you had the entire roster on top of you, and some of the people climbed the climb the glass too and jumped in. Yeah, don't tell my coach, but I think I might have a concussion from all the pile that the season. But no, yeah, you know what? It was a pretty cool moment. I don't know if I've ever scored an OT winner like that. And, uh, so, yeah, that was pretty, pretty cool. All right, you got it done, gentlemen. We'll talk to you next Saturday. Marion advances to the Harris Cup uh, semifinals next Saturday night right here at the Blue Line Family Ice Center taking the minigame in overtime 2-1 to one over the College of St. Scholastica. You can find more information on Marion men's hockey at saberathletics.com.